Vielleicht sind Sie was? Watch the way you lie down on mat. The legs should be comfortably apart and the feet relax to the sides. Watch it. Shoulders away from the ears. Chain towards the chest, arms comfortably apart. Mentally scan the body from toes to the head. Let go of the tension, the tightness and begin to relax part by part, starting with the toes. Relax the feet. The legs. The back. The arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck, head and the face. Soften the facial muscles, relax the jaw, relax the ears. Watch your mind. Let go the thoughts. Connect with the breath to slow down the mind. Make your breath slower, longer and deeper. Every inhalation bringing you lots of fresh prana. Every exhalation Relaxing the body completely. Inhalation, the abdomen expands. And exhalation, the abdomen contracts, the body relaxes. Slowly join the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head. Good, stretch to the body, stretch the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, start over and please sit in Father Prayer. Any comfortable position, both the hands on your knees in Chin Mudra. Keep the back straight, close your eyes. Kajananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapit Jambu Palisari Bakshikam Tumasutam Chokubinashikarinam Namami Vignishura Badi Bankajam Shadananam Kukumarati Varnam Mahamadim Devima Yurivanam Rudrasisunam Surasani Natam Buham Sadam Sharanam Prabhati Iya Kundin Dushar Haridabara Ya Shubra Vastra Vrita Ya Veena Vradanta Mandita Kara Ya Shweta Padmasana Ya Brahma Juti Shankara Prabhiti Bhe Devai Sada Pujita Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati Nishesh Jadya Paha Om Namah Shivaya Guru Ve Sachita Nanda Murta Ve Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Shri Shivananda Ate Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Ate Namaha, Om Sarva Mangala Mangale, Shri Sarvarti Sadike, Sharani Triambake Gauri, Narayani Namostate, Narayani Namostate, Om. 
शांति 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 ओम नमः शिवाय वेलकम टू द क्लास लेट्स गेट रेडी फॉर द प्रैक्टिस sit up tall and stay preparing for the kapalabhati practice both the hands on the knees ancient mudra taking two deep breaths inhale <coughs> exhale inhale exhale Now bring all the awareness to the abdomen. The first round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin. One two, 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 one two. Panjo, 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 panjo. Panjo, 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 panjo. Panjo, 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 panjo. One, two, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Get ready to hold the breath, keeping the back straight. Inhale, a deep, comfortable breath. Hold the breath very gently. Try focusing at the third eye center and mentally repeat any mantra you have or the use of mantra on. Hold the body still. Slowly with control, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. The next round of Kapalabhati. Bring your awareness now to the abdomen. Inhale deeply and begin. One two, 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 one two. Panjo, 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 panjo. Panjo, 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 panjo,
Now get ready to hold the breath, keep the back straight, shoulders roll back, create more space in the chest, open the chest. Inhale, three quarters of your lungs, just a little less than your lung capacity. Hold the breath very gently. Slowly, with control, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Before starting with the alternate nostril breathing, if you need to stretch the legs forward, do that. Shake out the legs and relax the body. And prepare yourself for the alternate nostril breathing. Try changing the side if you're sitting in Ardh Padmasan or try to sit in Padmasan. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra. Keep the back straight, shoulders roll back. Both the nostrils inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Block the right nostril with the right thumb. Left inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Take it a long breath. Hold the breath gently, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, lift on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold, close the nostrils. A gentle breath retention, allowing the energy to circulate through each part of your body. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, three, four. Gently close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, three, four. Hold the breath gently. Relax the face. Relax the throat. Relax the whole body. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, three, four, four gently. Awareness at the third eye center.
left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, left um one, um two, um three, four, fold. Lift the energy up by straightening the back, lifting from the lower back, upper back. Drop the shoulders down. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, gently hold. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Watch your mind. If the mind is wandered, please bring the awareness to the third eye center. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, four. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Become more aware of your body and become alert in the mind. Relax all the tension from the face. Soften the eyes and the forehead. Relax the top of the head, back of the head, neck. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, four, the breath, close the nostrils. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Hold the breath. This is the last round. Flex the body. Flex the mind. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, four, gently, last attention. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Bring the hand down. Stay here, relax the body. Put the hands on the knees in Mudra. Keep breathing gently and slowly. Observe the changes in the mind, in the breath. Keeping the eyes closed, please stretch the legs and lie down. Take rest in your back in Shavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart. Relax.
Join the legs together. Take a deep breath. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms up. Give a nice stretch to the body. Move the toes forward. And move the toes in. Push the heels out. Stay in the stretch. Stretch. Release the stretch. Bend the knees. Turn over and sit up. And stand up for sun salutation. Come to the front of the mat. Let's take two breaths before we begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. First round. Feet together. Inhale. As you exhale, join the palms together to the chest. Thumbs touching the heart center. Shoulders away from the ears. Elbows towards the mat. As you inhale, lengthen the arms up along the ears. Push the buttocks forward. Look up to the hands, head and arms in line. Knees straight. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down with your hands by the side of the feet. Bring the chest close to the thighs. Bend the knees. Bring the forehead close to the knees. Inhale, stretch the right leg back. Left knee aligned with the left ankle. Stretch the chin up. Hold the breath. Take the left leg back into the plank pose. Abdomen pull then. Shoulders align with the wrist. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide the body forward. Inhale, arch back into cobra. Relax the shoulders down. Exhale, inward jitvi. Press the heels, press the hands. Tuck the abdomen, look to the toes. Inhale, bring the right leg forward. Right foot between the hands. Let me down, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Keep the hands pressing down. Inhale, stretch forward. Stretch up and reach up. Push the buttocks forward. Look up. Exhale, release. Left side. Inhale and exhale. Palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back. Look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale. And exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inward jiffy. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right. Stretch forward, stretch up and arch back. Inhale. And exhale, release. Next round, inhale. And exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale. And exhale, palms to the chest. 
Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, stand the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, reach up with your arms and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg all the way back and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra, relax the shoulders. Exhale, inverted V. Press the heels, press the hands and push the chest more down. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back. All the way, push the bodies forward and look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Last round, inhale and exhale, bounce to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up, stay there. Let's slow down the breath in the body. Push the right leg a little more away if possible without disturbing the alignment of the left knee and the ankle, look up. Breathe a few times. Now, take a breath, tuck the right toes in, take the left leg back, hold the plank pose and breathe. Abdomen pulled in, wrist, our shoulders right on top of the wrist. Head is in line with the spine, looking down at a point between the hands. Or maybe just ahead of the hands. Slowly, as you exhale, bring the knees, chest and the forehead down. Keep the body nicely lifted up. Slide the body forward. Arch back, inhale into cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Stay there and breathe. Without adjusting or disturbing the body, please push the heels down wherever you are and push the hands down, separate the fingers apart to get a good grip of the mat. Keep the head in line with the upper arms and push the chest down. Breathe. Breathe. 
and the next inhalation, bring the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, move the left leg more back, look up, breathe here. Slowly, on the exhalation, bring the left leg forward, shifting the body weight forward, just stay here for a while. Make the posture complete by bringing the chest close to the thighs, Put it close to the knees, top of the head reaching down, fingertips of the hands are pressing down. And if possible, straighten one knee, straighten the other knee without lifting the hands up. Slowly, as you inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Pull up with the waist, push the buttocks all the way forward, kneecaps pulled up, arms straight, head not dropping down. Keep it in line with the arms and look up to the hands. And exhale, release. Left side, <clears throat> inhale and exhale, join the palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg all the way back and look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted wheel. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Separate the legs apart, take a breather, relax the body, close your eyes. Slow down the breath. Please sit down and lie down, take rest in Shivasana. Feel the heat, the warmth, the energy in the body. Do not resist Shavasana, try to absorb this energy into the body. Body is nicely warmed up and ready for the asana practice. Keep the awareness on the breath. Join the legs together, take a deep breath, bring your arms over the head, interlock your fingers and stretch the whole body. Press the lower back down and push the heels out. Release the stretch, get ready for the single leg raises, place the arms close to the body. Arms facing down, chin close to the chest, work with your abdomen, inhale, raise the right leg up, knees straight, toes pulled in. Exhale, bring the right leg down. <clears throat> Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, release the leg down. Right leg, inhale up. Hold the right thigh and pull the leg closer, as close to the head as possible. And on the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up, come up, walk the hands up towards the ankle, or just keep holding the back of the thigh. 
Right knee straight, left thigh pushing down, left knee straight. All 10 toes towards the head, relax the body, shoulders, the elbows. Gently stretch the chin up towards the right toes and close your eyes. Take a few deep, slow, mindful and long breaths. Understand the benefits while you hold the posture so that you can do better. Keeping the knees straight gives a good stretch to the hamstring muscles which become tighter as we grow older. So try to straighten the knees as much as possible and breathe into the abdomen. With the exhalation, you'll notice the leg can come a little more in if you do it mindfully. So working to stimulate the abdominal organs and strengthen the lower back muscles. Slowly exhale, place the head and chest down, bend the right knee, hug it close to the chest. Stay for a while, relax the neck muscles. Now hold the leg in your arms, just as you do the rocking baby, bring the right foot, hook it in the left elbow. Lift your head up, chest up, and right arm is wrapped around the right knee. Hold the body here. If you have any difficulty doing the posture, you can watch the screen and just do what you can or just keep hugging the knee and do the Bhavan Muktasana on the right side. So by doing this posture, we are giving a good stretch to the hip joint. Feel the pressure. <clears throat> now, hold the right, uh, right big toe with your right hand. Keep the head up and try to pull the foot up towards the forehead. Move the right knee away from the body. Whatever we do while you sit, uh, during the sitting forward bend before that, we are doing the same thing in this position. Pull the foot up towards the head, keep moving the right knee away from the body. Slowly place the head down, you're holding the right big toe with your right hand. Stretch the left arm in line with the left shoulder. Palm facing down. Now stretch the right leg to the right side, to the right. Bring it all the way down to the floor without bending the knee. So in case the knee bends when you hold the toe, hold the thigh and aim to push the left body down on the floor. Working so deeply on the hip joint, enjoy that pressure, enjoy that stretch and absorb it. It's adding to the flexibility of the hip joint and also Strengthening your back. Slowly release the toe hold, raise the right leg up, inhale. And slowly exhale, bring the right leg down. Arms by the side of the body. Left leg up, inhale. Hold the left thigh and pull the leg closer to the body. As you exhale, raise the head up, chest up and walk the hands up, come up. Wherever you're holding, breathe mindfully and breathe deeply to have a good final posture. Relax the neck muscles, close your eyes and stretch the chin up towards the left toes. Keep pushing the right thigh actively down and pull the toes in. Slowly place the head and chest down. As you exhale, bend the knee to the chest and hug it tightly. Stay here for a while. Now, open the left knee towards the left. Wrap your left arm around the leg and put the left foot in the right elbow, if possible. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up and come up. Breathe. Bring the awareness to the hip joint, the left side. Now hold the foot with your hands and try to pull the foot up towards the head. Keep pushing the left knee away from the head. So just imagine that you are trying to bring the foot towards the ear, then how the knee will be. Now slowly place the head and chest down and stretch the left leg to the left side. 
stretching the right arm in line with the right shoulder. Breathe here. This time, aim to push the right foot down. Your head can be in the center or turn to the opposite side. Find your comfort level in the head. Keep breathing. Now release the toe hold and raise the left leg up, inhale. Slowly exhale, bring the left leg down. Let's take two breaths, relax the body in Shavasana before we begin with the double leg raises. If you have back trouble, you can place the arms on the body or today let us do it with arms over the head. So bring your legs together and stretch your arms up over the head, arms parallel, palms facing up. As you inhale, raise the legs up, arms up, point the fingers to the feet. Exhale, move the legs down and the arms over the head. Second time, inhale, come up the same way. Exhale, go down. Third time up, inhale. Exhale down, four up in here, exhale down, now we lift the head up also, inhale, raise the legs up, head up, chest up, point the fingers to the feet, come up, exhale, release the legs down, head down, arms over the head, six times, inhale, come up, put two together, eight times, exhale, go down, Seven time up, inhale. Exhale down. One more time, inhale, come up. Tighten the abdomen, relax the neck, hold for five. Don't hold the toes, just keep pointing the fingers towards the feet. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come down with control, bring the legs down, arms by the side of the body, turn the head side to side and relax in Shavasana. Join the legs together, interlock the fingers, stretch your arms up and give a nice stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over, please sit up, relax in the child's pose, Shashankasana. We get ready for the headstand practice. If you find yourself ready, you can sit up on the heels and start the practice either with the wall support or the first few steps of headstand. If you come up in the headstand, please follow my instructions. Hold the opposite elbows, measure the forearms along the knees, stretch your forearms forward, interlock your fingers loosely, lift the buttocks up, place the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands, tuck the toes in, lift the knees off the mat and straighten the legs, walk forward. Take two breaths here, and when you find ready, yourself ready, bend the knees one by one or together to the chest. And then very slowly move the knees up, find your balance, move the legs up, raise the legs up. That's very good. Still the body for some time. Those who are up into the headstand, Tuck the abdomen in towards the back and relax the legs. Abhishek, once you are up, you should be able to move the buttocks away from the wall and rest your heels on the wall so that the body can become straight. Don't touch the legs to the wall, just the heels.
Very good. Time to come out of the posture, follow the steps, bend the knees, bring the knees close to the chest and bring the feet down, relax in the child's pose. Please sit up and take rest on your back in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Relax. Join the legs together, interlock the fingers over the head, arms over the head, stretch your whole body, stretch, stretch and release. Get ready for the short stand. Arms by the side of the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes pointing up, move the shoulders down and bring the chin close to the chest. Inhale, raise the legs up, exhale, swing the trunk up and support the back into the shoulder stand. I would like to adjust the body. So bend the knees to the forehead. Adjust your elbows and the hands more down towards the mid back. Elbows closer. Once you're there, please stretch the legs up again and transfer the body weight to the shoulders. Push the buttocks towards the head. Relax each part of your legs. Once you're comfortable, close your eyes and still the body for two minutes. It's very good, keep holding. Now let's go in for a small variation here. Release the right hand from the back and stretch it out towards the right foot. So the right elbow is off the mat and stretching the right arm towards the right leg or the foot. And those who can try it with the other arm also. The left arm also. No, both the hands at the same time, both the arms. 
the right leg pointing up, uh, sorry, the right hand pointing up and the left arm also elbows away. You are transferring the body weight towards the shoulders. So try to straighten the back more and lift the legs straight up. Find your balance. If you cannot understand, just keep supporting the back and hold the shoulder stand. Hold for a few breaths in that way. Now everybody support the back, lift yourself up. Get ready for variations in Halasan. On the exhalation, bring the right leg over the head with control. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Now on the exhalation, bring the right leg to the left side of your head. Just give a little twist to the body and move the leg to the opposite side. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg to the right side of the head. Inhale, bring the leg up. Adjust the body for halasan. On the exhalation, bring both the legs over the head. Adjust your body to be comfortable. If you're fine, you can stretch the arms forward and uh, on the mat and interlock the fingers, pull the arms away from the body. Keep the knees pushed away from the forehead, toes walking in towards the head. Keep breathing into the abdomen, stimulating the abdominal organs along with work on the spine. And of course, working on the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. Feel a good stretch from heels to the tailbone, tailbone to the neck. Absorb that stretch, do not resist. Now support the back and walk the legs all the way to the right. Bend the knees towards the right ear by the side of the ear and drop the feet down, top of the feet on the floor. Toes pointing away from the body. Shoulders are on the mat. Straighten the knees, walk back. And move the legs to the left. Bend the knees by the side of the left ear. Stay here, shoulders on the mat. Straighten the knees, walk back to the center. Now separate the legs apart. Hold the toes, stay here and breathe. Now bend the knees and get ready for Kanabidasan. Hold the ears by bringing the hands from over the thighs. Knees touching down, tailbone lifted up and top of the feet resting on the mat on the floor. Very good. Slowly release the posture. Join the legs together. Keep your arms on the mat. Lift the legs, feet off the floor and one vertebra at a time, slowly, gently come down. Relax in Shavasan, turn the head side to side. Get ready for Setu Pradasan, bend the knees and hold your ankles. Knees are hip width apart, the feet also. As you inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up all the way. Lift the buttocks all the way up, make your thighs parallel to the floor and the chest is so close to the chin that you work again on the thyroid gland. So feel that pressure in the throat as you lift up. Imagine a cushion between the knees and the thighs and pressing that cushion. Stay up, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, higher up, 4, 3, 
two, one, and slowly come down. Rest for a breath and then get, get ready for Chakrasana. Hands under the shoulders. Fingers turned inwards. Heels close to the buttocks. Feet hip distance apart. Hip width apart. Inhale, raise the buttocks up. And press the hands, come up. Wheel pose. Very good. Try to lift the chest more up so that the elbows can straighten more and try to straighten the knees a little bit. Now walk the feet forward, those who can do it, or hold the chakrasana more forward. Straighten the knees, that's what I mean. Don't let the hips sink down. And walk the feet back towards the body. More in, more in. And walk the hands towards the heels. Just try it. Very good. And slowly exhale, come down. Hug the knees close to the chest. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up and come up. This is an intermediate class. Assuming everybody is has done the beginner's course. So we are comfortable in giving the variations here. It's not that everybody can do it, but still everybody can try it once you are done with the beginner's course. Keep holding. And slowly exhale, bring the head and chest down, arms by the side of the body, raise the legs up, inhale. Exhale, with control, bring the legs down. Giving the counter stretch with Matsyas in the fish pose, slide the arms into the body, hide the elbows closely in. Hide the elbows from my view. Now stretch the legs forward. Head up, chest up, inhale, come up on the elbows, look to the toes, come up higher, lift the chest up, as you exhale, arch the back and bring the top of the head touching down on the mat. Once you're here, focus on the breath, focus on the body, so you are pressing on the elbows, you should be alert in the mind moment you feel pressure on the leg, you need to push the elbows down and take the body weight on the elbows. Breathe gently, slowly and deeply. Lengthen your inhalations. Lengthen your exhalations. You need to slow down the breath to draw more benefits from this posture to the mind. Inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up, look to the toes and exhale, bring the head and chest down. Place the arms from under the body, rotate the wrist, turn the head side to side and relax in Chavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart. Feel the release of all pent up feelings and emotions as you release this posture. Feel the lightness in the neck and the shoulders. Relax. Slowly join the legs together, take a deep breath, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head, stretch the body, release the stretch and please sit up, turn to one side or sit up straight. Do a few rounds of butterfly, join the soles together, 
Hold the toes, sit up straight and clap the knees. Now stretch both your legs forward and listen to the instruction. Bring the left knee across the right knee. So the left foot is to the right side. Just as you do the Gamukhasana, we are getting ready for cow face forward fold that is Gamukh Pashimutanasana. So the knees are one on top of the other with the left knee on top of the right knee and top of the left foot is on the floor. Don't do anything else. Just keep the right leg straight. Okay. Now raise the left arm up as you inhale and bend the left elbow, try to bring the hand lower down on the back. Bend the left elbow. Gamukasana kaise karte hai? Kaise karo? Gamukasana, the cow head pose. So raise the left arm up, go with my instruction. Left arm up, bend the left elbow and place the left hand on the back. Upar se, upar se. Yes, that's it. And from behind, bring your right arm, catch hold of your fingers. If you cannot hold the fingers, doesn't matter. If you have a towel, you can hold the edges of the towel and do the posture or just keep trying to reach with your hands. And now, without releasing the interlock, slowly stretch forward and come down as you exhale. Try to bring the chin or the forehead on the right knee if possible. So stretching beyond the left knee and coming down. So the knees have to be nicely placed to be comfortable in the posture. Slowly inhale, come up. Release the hands, stretch your left leg forward. Let's do it for the other side. Bend the right knee, place the right knee across the left knee on top of the left knee actually and place the foot to the other side. Now stretch the right arm up, inhale, bend the right elbow, place the right hand to the back and now from behind bring the left arm, catch hold of your hands or try to reach. If you have a towel, please hold it, you'll feel a different effect when you fold forward and down. On the exhalation, stretch the spine and come forward and come down. Relax the body to stretch deeper. That's better. Slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, release the posture, straighten the legs forward. Just for a while, let's relax the shoulders. Place your hands on the shoulders, cup your hands. And give a gentle rotation three times clockwise and three times anti-clockwise. When you're done, get ready for Bashimutanasan. Stretch both your arms up, legs are stretching forward, lengthen your body up, stretch up. And as you exhale from the base of the spine, stretch forward and come down. Hold where we can. If you're flexible, please interlock the fingers and stretch your hands beyond the feet or you can hold one wrist with the other hand if you're more, more flexible. Push the knees down, chest on the thighs. If the back is too much rounded, make sure to stretch the chin forward. Breathe, breathe into the abdomen slowly and deeply. Watch your toes, point the toes in, pull the toes in to feel a good stretch in the hamstrings. And just for a while, let, the, let us point the toes forward, try right? to touch the toes down, feel a good stretch in the uh, shin bones. Slowly, stretch forward and stretch up, come up. And exhale, place the hands behind, giving a counter stretch with inclined plane. 
Place the head back, inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up. Try to bring the feet flat on the mat as though you're standing on the feet. Lift the buttocks all the way up. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly come down. Relax on your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn the head to the right. Big toes touching. Heels apart. Relax. Time to recharge the body and prepare for the back bends. Keep the awareness on the breath. Don't allow the mind to wander. Prepare for Bhujangasana. Bring your legs together, forehead down, elbows close to the chest and fingertips in line with the shoulders. Elbows should be pointing up. So let me just tell you one or two participants, they don't do it properly. So when you come up, don't separate the elbows from the chest and don't hunch the shoulders up. Keep these two instructions in mind while you come up. As you inhale, raise the head up, chest up, and come up. Come up to a level where your body is relaxed, where you can breathe properly. Stay up, breathe. And slowly exhale, come down. Stay in the position. Separate the legs apart, hip width. Hands near the waist, elbows pointing up. As you inhale, raise the head up, chest up. Lift the abdomen off the mat and straighten the arms, drop the head back. Stay here. Without bending the elbows, push the pelvis down towards the mat. Hold the posture and breathe. I wish you straighten the arms and come up all the way. Very good. Drop the head back. So remember, shoulders are not hunching up. And slowly exhale, come down. Turn the head to the left and relax. Make a pillow with your hands. Get ready for Dhanurasan. Bend the knees and hold your ankles. Forehead down. So if you have a tight back, please separate the knees wider than the hip width in the beginning. And when you come up, you can bring the knees a little closer. As you inhale, raise the knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up. Pull the legs all the way up. Come up, come up higher. Chest up, releasing the pelvic bones and the Rib cage, the diaphragm muscle of the mat, resting on the soft part around the navel. Aim to do that. Chin more up, chest more up, thighs more up. Close your eyes, relax the face. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rock the body side to side three times. Pashutanurasa. Once you're done, come back to the center and relax for two breaths with head to the other side. Whichever side you stretch the neck, just turn it opposite. Now place the forehead down, place the hands under the shoulders and give yourself a good stretch. Relax for a while and do the child's pose with your arms extending forward. If you like to do the Majriyasan, you can do that and come into the posture as you see on screen.
mentally prepare yourself for one more backward bend we'll be going moving into the pigeon pose now uh, come up into the inverted v by tucking the toes in lifting the knees up stay here as you inhale raise the right leg up do not tilt the buttocks exhale bend the right knee towards the forehead and bring the right foot to the left side place the right knee down and stretch the left leg back stretch forward and down into the supta uh pigeon pose the sleeping swan or the just relax into this posture now let us try to move the right foot away from the body so that the right shin bones become parallel to the edge of the mat so you have to lift up your chest a little and try it use your hand to move the foot forward a little more try to make the shins perpendicular to the thigh very good now come down come down center the body you should not be sleeping on the right side the hip should be centered slowly come back up place the hands by the side of the body draw the right foot in towards the groin arch back drop the head back now those who like to do further follow the instruction bend the left knee and hook the left foot in the left elbow center the chest and then from over the over the head draw your right arm catch hold of your hands if you can find your uh, position for the day it's not necessary that you keep doing what is being told you can stop where your body doesn't allow now to do the proper posture uh, please rotate your shoulder blade and hold the right toes with your right hand move the right and go up and come up very good breathe and slowly release the posture place the hands down come up into the inverted v stay here for a while now raise the left leg up in here bend the left knee as you exhale move the left foot to the right and come into the sleeping swan pose center the body don't allow the body to sleep on the left hip keep breathing hold for a while now just lift up your chest a bit and then adjust your left foot more forward to give to give a maximum stretch to the hip joint then again come down center the body center the chest do not allow the body to lean to the left and if you cannot come down fully you can just be up in air with your elbows on the floor and chest off the mat so work only on the hip joint slowly come up place the hands by the side of the body draw the left foot towards the groin and center the body get ready for ek padrajka kodasan bend the right knee 
drop the hip back, okay? Bend the right knee and hook the right foot in the right elbow. From over the head, draw your left hand, left arm, hold the hands. Arch your back more to be comfortable. Now let's see if you can do the Ekpatraj Kukutasana on the side. Very good. Excellent. And slowly release the posture. Move into the inverted V and relax into the child's pose. Bend the knees and come down on your heels. Slowly sit up. Let's get ready for the half spinal twist. Lower the body down to the right. Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind. Stretch the right arm up. Inhale. Lengthen up. Exhale. Twist to the left. Lean forward. Push the outside of the knee with your upper arm. Hold the ankle. Look to the left shoulder. Do not put any weight on the left hand. Sit equally on the sitting bones. And feel a good pressure on the on the abdomen. So if you feel the right shoulder is hunched up and the shoulders are not in one straight line, you need to move the left foot a little more forward. Watch your posture. Keep breathing, close your eyes. Inhale, raise the right arm up and exhale, bring it down. Changing side, sit to the left side of your body, bring the right foot across the left thigh. Place the left right hand behind and stretch the left arm up. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right, lean forward, push the outside of the knee with your upper left arm and hold the ankle. Look to the right shoulder. So keep the back straight. Close your eyes. And breathe. Inhale, raise the left arm up and exhale, bring it down, hug the knees close to the chest, step straight. <coughs> As you inhale, stretch the chin up, close your mouth and stay there, breathe. As you exhale, bring the chin down to the chest, stay. Inhale, back to the center, gently exhale, turn the head to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale, turn the head to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, lower the right ear down towards the head down towards the right shoulder. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower the head down towards the left shoulder. Inhale, come up. Let's do the crow pose, kakasan. So come up into the squatting position, making a rough square with your hands and the feet. Fingers slightly separated to get a grip of the mat. Bend the knee, bring the knees on the Arms on the upper arms. Look at a point in front. Shift the body weight forward towards the hands until the feet lift up. Very good. Try everybody. It's not going to hurt you. Even if you do not lift the feet up, it's fine. You're getting a sense of balance. And if you think you're done enough, you can release the posture and stand up. Let's wind up the class with Trikonasan. So use the length of the mat, separate the legs three to four feet apart, turn the right foot to the right, left foot turn slightly in, the hip should face forward. Inhale, raise the left arm up. 
as you exhale, bend from the waist across to the right. Look in front or look up. Keep breathing. Push the right vertical a little forward so that the hip doesn't twist. And keep the right side free. Relax the right side. The right arm is freely moving down the right leg without leaning forward. forward without leaning the body forward. That's very good. Inhale, come up. And exhale, bring the arm down, feet pointing forward. Turn the left foot out and the right foot in, hip space forward. Inhale, stretch the right arm up. Inhale, lengthen up, lengthen up. And exhale, bend down to the left side. Adjust your body. Do not twist the hip. Look in front or look up. Don't look down. Breathe. So it's not the stretching from the shoulder. Initial stretch takes place from the waist. Watch your shoulder joint. And the stretch travels all the way to the fingertips. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, bring the arm down, join the legs together. Time for fan relaxation. Please come in front and sit down, lie down, take rest on your back in Shavasana. Rest for a, for a while, slow down the breath. Now to tense the body parts, raise the right leg, two inches off the mat, tense the right leg, tense it and drop it down. Left leg two inches up, tense the leg, tense it and drop it down. Squeeze the buttocks off the mat, tense the buttocks, tense, tense and drop. Contract the abdomen, press the lower back down, press it up, release. Lift the chest up, up and drop. Squeeze the shoulders into the ears. Push the shoulders down and lift your arms two inches up. Make tight fist, tighten the fist, tight, tight. Open the fingers and tense your arms, tense, tense and drop. Tense all the facial muscles to the nose, tight, tight and let go. Open the mouth, stretch the tongue out, open the eyes wide, look at the forehead, stretch all the facial muscles, stretch, stretch and release. Close the mouth, move the shoulders down, gently turn the head to the right and turn the head to the left. Bring the head back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body with shoulders away from the ears and chin towards the chest. Arm um, six to eight inches away from the body with palms turned up. Legs comfortably apart, feet relaxing to the sides. This is very important. Watch your breathing. If the breath is still erratic, work to slow it down. Let's relax the body parts mentally. Starting with the toes, relax the toes. The soles. Knees and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. The knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Relax the hip joint. We have good relaxation to the legs. Not holding tight any part of your legs. Watch it. Relax. Relax the abdomen. Relax the chest and focus on the back. Relax the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. Relax the spinal column. 
Allow the relaxation to the back. Let the body sink down, the back sink down, the gravity. And feel a good relaxation to the back. Bring the awareness to the arms. Relax the fingers, the palms and the wrists. Relax the forearms. The elbows, the upper arms. Relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Relax the neck muscles. The back of the head. Top of the head and the forehead. Soften the ears, the eyes, the nostrils, the cheekbones, the jaw, the tongue, and the throat. The arms, shoulders, neck, and the face are completely relaxed. Now send awareness to the internal organs of the abdomen for a good relaxation. Visualize the organs. And give a gentle, silent command to each organ for a good relaxation. Relax the lungs. Relax the heart. Relax the brain. All the internal organs are pressed and relaxed, working efficiently and effortlessly. Finally, becoming aware of your mind. The mind is not with your body, with your breath. Just tune it. Relax the mind, let go the thoughts. Mind, body, and the breath are completely relaxed in harmony. Relax, relax, relax.
Stretch your arms up, and stretch to the body, stretch. Raise the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side, stay there. And when you're ready, please support your hand and sit up for the prayer prayer. Thanks to the masters. Thank you, everyone.